to the journalist and political analyst Ryan Chilcott. Ryan, uh, it's worth reminding people that you are actually reporting from Moscow uh, in the first few weeks after Russia's attacks on Ukraine. So at least that's going to give us a different kind of angle as well for you to present to us. I don't think it can be totally discounted. This idea that some people in the West believe, and certainly many people outside the West, that NATO's expansion has caused this conflict, has made Vladimir Putin attack Ukraine. You know, I mean, I think there are, are a number of reasons why Vladimir Putin has sent troops into Ukraine. But if you listen carefully to him, clearly NATO's expansion and what he sees as the militarization of Ukraine and rising anti-Russian sentiment in Ukraine that he would say has been state sanctioned, perhaps not under President Zelensky, but uh, under President Poroshenko, that in his mind has played a huge role in why um, Russia is in Ukraine at the time. What do you think Sweden and Finland could bring to the alliance? Ah, you know, it's such a good question. It's it, it's very unusual. First of all, um, Finland is, you know, as you know, a, a little bit like Austria in the sense that they have always been neutral, right? Like if you think about where um, President Trump, former President Trump met with President Putin, it was in Helsinki, pretty famous meeting, right, where uh, President, then President Trump said that he, he believed President Putin more than the CIA when it came to the question of Russian interference in the elections. But, you know, generally speaking, um, there, uh, the, the Finns, uh, up until hope, obviously very recently, as we just heard, have felt like there's no real reason to antagonize Russia. In fact, uh, ever since NATO was formed, they, they've enacted this idea, which is called Finlandization after their country, that it's best to be uh, neutral uh, and not part of, uh, uh, as, as the Russians would see it, as a aggressive bloc countering Russia. Uh, so, I mean, you know, are the Russians going to attack uh, Sweden or, or Finland? I mean, there's clearly no signs of that. If you listen to Vladimir Putin, this is kind of a Slavic thing. Uh, maybe a former Soviet Union thing. Uh, what the argument would be to go into Finland and Sweden, I have no idea. And, and what would the Russians do if Finland and Sweden were to join uh, is also unclear because, uh, you know, we've heard the Russians say that, well, if Finland and, and Sweden join, we'd have to reposition our security posture. But I mean, really, I mean, uh, I think we can all agree that Russia at this point is pretty bogged down in Ukraine. So the idea of a two-front war, I mean, it, this is mind-boggling stuff. Yeah, I, I, you've just quoted either Dmitry Peskov or Maria Zakharova. It was Peskov who said the situation would have to be rebalanced from Moscow's point of yeah. view if these two countries which were to means, join NATO. Which means, by the way, they do nothing, right? I mean, yeah. like, what does that mean, rebalance? I, I'm not really sure what that means. I think he was, that was in a Sky News interview, and I think he was sort of at odds to figure out what he would say. I mean, I mean... It, but Russia's going to shell, uh, you know, Helsinki or Finland? I, I don't know. It, it sounds a bit crazy. Yeah, and then Zakharova, for her part, said that there would be military and political consequences, again, if those two countries join. But from NATO's point well, of view, certainly, disaster. Ryan, I think... Yeah, it'd be a disaster for the, the Russians because it would just mean, you know, like in the Cold War, like with full court press that, you know, Ronald Reagan backed, it would just mean that the Russians would have to spend that much more money on defending their borders against a threat which really isn't a threat. Ryan, thanks very much indeed. Really appreciate it. Ryan Chilcott speaking to us from London.